Okay, so uh, this script is in my main AutoHotKey script. And uh, what it does is it allows me, if I'm working on something and AutoHotKey, um, the F1 doesn't pull up anything for the regular documentation, um, I can hit caps lock and S. And so caps lock is an interesting, it's a modifier key as well. And as long as you use it in combination with something else, it won't, uh, it won't suddenly turn on your caps locks. So um, when I do that, it pulls up an input box and says what, what sites, you know, I'm going to search with Google. Uh, but then it says, what do you want to look for, basically? And then if, uh, if nothing gets returned, it'll stop. But if, uh, if you put something in, it will go forward and it will um, search first Stack Overflow looking for it. And then um, I have Stack Overflow with questions tagged as Auto Hotkey. So that way I have it twice because sometimes the, what I'm searching for isn't just for Auto Hotkey and I'd rather have it just both an automated where I just close out the browser once it's done. Um, it also searches auto hotkey for it. So let's let's do an example here. Let's say I was going to search for, um, I don't know, in, input box. And, well, I should have hit copy, but we'll say input box. And now you'll notice it just launched those three tabs for me. Um, and, and again, this one, so this is auto hotkey site. It's really fast. And again, it's using Google to search those sites. So there's that one. This is the ones with questions tagged as auto hotkey. So these should be much more focused on just auto hotkey. And this version is um, just searching Stack Overflow entirely. So it could be things not doing with auto hotkey. And then um, I used to, here's one, you know, I would have, you just add whatever domain you want, right? I had Microsoft, I had this other tech uh, on the net.com. Um, so whatever is your preference, right? You just add them in there and it's just a great easy way to run your search multiple places and not have to type it each time.